What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sayushi and today we're going to be talking about the catch which is a very very considerably good four star spear that you can end up getting not only for Raiden Shogun but it'll end up working on other characters. You can not only get the spear for free but all of the refinements for free as well. The ascension material for the catcher is going to be the masks which are available Wednesday and Saturday and Sunday at the Court of Flowing Sand right here. Chaos gears which is gotten from the new robotic enemies that you can find in Azuma, as well as the spear. Spectral Husk, which is a brand new resource since the latest update that is dropped from Spectres exclusively. Spectres are going to be these annoying dudes that you can end up finding on the Seirei Island as well as Watatsumi Island. So this is what the catch looks like at level one, and this is what it looks like fully maxed out with max refinement. You can see that this is a pretty good spear just in general. The fact that the substat is energy recharge might put some people off of putting this onto their main DPS, but it is going to end up working extremely well with Raiden Shogun and can end up working with other polearm users as well. So I'm going to be giving you guys a basic rundown of everything you're going to need to know about fishing. But first and foremost, this is going to end up being the location of the Inazuma angler. They're going to end up selling you the catch for six angel fish and 20 of each koi fish. And then the refinement material is going to cost you three angel fish and 10 puffer fish for each refinement meaning you'll need a total of 40 puffer fish and 12 angel fish so just outside of monstad is going to end up being the monstad angler which is going to be one of three different shops where you can end up buying various things for fish this guy's probably the most important because you're going to end up buying all of the different baits that you're going to need to catch every different type of fish in the game technically all you need is the fake fly bait and the false worm bait but i would recommend that you get the red rot as well just because it means that you have the option of catching all the other types of fish while you're at it and the fishing rods themselves are basically just going to end up giving you a boost towards fishing in that specific region. So you can see that this wind tangler is sold by the Monstad merchant and will basically only make fishing faster within Monstad. Once you have the bait, you can actually just make it at the crafting table. And thankfully, it's super duper easy. It's really like cheap to craft. And all you're really going to need is the false worm bait for the angel fish. And then the fake fly bait, you're going to need a lot of these for the koi fish as well as the puffer fish. The official Genshin interactive map can be really, really useful for this because you can actually scroll all the way down to the fishing section and you can end up just selecting the specific fish that you want. So let's actually just select the koi fish, the angel fish and the puffer fish. And you can see right here that it's actually going to show you all of their locations. So while there's tons of different fishing locations all over the map, today we're focusing on the catch. So I'm just going to highlight the places you can find the koi fish, the puffer fish and the angel fish. Starting with Monstad, there's a spot up here by Stormbearer Mountains. There's a fishing spot here outside of Mondstadt as well as down here inside of Mondstadt and just to the left of Dawn Winery. In Leeway, you can end up finding a fishing spot here, here left of Wangshu Inn, here at the Broken Bridge that's beside Wangshu Inn, one right here by this domain, and my least favorite is this one right outside of Leeway Harbor. Now moving on to Inazuma, you can find these fish at Rito, Nizuchi Beach behind the Broken Ship, by the Statue of the Seven on Seirai Island right here. And the only place that you can end up finding the angelfish is on Kanazuka Island, right over here where you can see my ship is located. Each fishing pond you can actually fish in twice. So we could technically end up fishing all of these fish out during the night. And then we could wait until the morning and an alternate set of fish would end up spawning. Day and night is very simple. It's just quite literally all of the stuff that's on the top half of this clock is the day while the bottom half is the night. The puffer fish and the koi fish should be on a 24 hour respawn timer. So when you end up catching the fish, it should respawn within 24 hours from that time period. I say that it should because sometimes I've gone back to a fishing location and I haven't actually had the fish respawn, which is kind of weird. Certain fish, however, like the angel fish will actually only spawn at night. And unfortunately, because these are considered a super rare fish, these guys will actually take three real life days to spawn rather than one. So there is actually a limited amount of fish that can spawn in a pond at one time, meaning that if you are at max capacity, you'll have to start fishing some of the fish that you don't necessarily want just to get some other fish to replace them, which could be the ones that you actually need. Now, as you're fishing, sometimes you'll notice that you've caught a four star fish. A four star fish is actually not a good thing 
because it basically means that you ended up catching a fish that is a prop item that goes in your Serana teapot rather than one you can use to buy the catch. So just at the end of the dock here at Leeway Harbor is going to end up being the Leeway Angler, which is obviously going to end up selling the fishing rod, but is also going to end up selling the Pool of Sapphire Grace, which is an item that you can end up placing in your Serana teapot and then at which point you can end up placing your show fish inside. Now you can actually join your friends world and public worlds to catch their fish but keep in mind that the fish are going to be the same as the plants so if you go into someone's world and you take all of their fish without asking it means that those people will then have to wait 24 hours for their fish to respawn or three full days if you steal their angel fish so one thing i've seen a lot of people doing on the reddit is they'll actually just change their username to something like can i fish or whatever so that when they end up requesting to join someone's world that person knows immediately what they're after and that should basically end up getting you the catch it's going to end up taking you roughly a week if you're just doing this within your own world just because of those stupid angel fish that you're gonna have to wait for and you're probably looking at maybe five hours in total to get the catch as well as all of the refinement materials but if i'm being perfectly honest wow. It's gonna feel more like 10 hours. 